Hey guys, Chip here. Uh, hey, I want to show you real quick how to use the new cutter function inside of GitOps. And I'm going to show you some really cool other uh, techniques and tricks I've been uh, playing around with lately. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Shift A, we'll do a cube to get started. So uh, there we have it. And let's just go ahead and uh, let's put the SY cutter, but that will be part of the uh, free um, materials. I always use the SY cutter material for my cutters. Uh, just because it just kind of works nicely if I want to. If I, I always know if I change a cutter color, I can change it across all the cutters. So that's why I do that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'll do is I'll go up to edit here. And under this auto mirror, I'm going to hit on the X auto mirror. And then I'll hit Y auto mirror. And then I'll go to my... Uh, my modifier properties. Now, what did I what did I just do? Well, I just added two mirror uh, mirror uh, modifiers, and let's just turn these off, okay? And we'll see that that's what we're working with. So this is if I'm going to do something about the X and Y, if I'm going to build like an insert, then I've got all I need to do is edit, it, you know, build it in this area, and guess what? It's going to automatically be uh, propagated across the other axes. So that's one thing I'm doing. I've got this my red light. I'm going to turn the face orientation off, but you can kind of see what's going on there. Viewpoint viz. So I'm going to leave this off for now. Uh, also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this Y button here and just delete this one because it does basically the same thing. So there we go. So let's go ahead and get started. And, uh, you know, what I might want to do right off the bat is I'm going to tab into this and I'll hit the three key to select this. And I'll just say I for inset. And as I do this, uh, if I hit the B key, it's going to move it in here. So that's what I'm going to create my insert, somewhere, something like this, okay? And then I'll hit the E key, and I'm going to drop it down like that. And I'll go 1, grab this, X, and delete the vertices. So I've got that. So now if I go back to my viewport viz, you'll see that's what I've got. So, uh, And I'm not going to make this a particularly fancy one, but let's just, you know, let's just do some fun stuff with it if we can. You know, tie that. Let's do Control R. We'll put maybe a, uh, two of these here. Um, and you know maybe we'll make make this pop up something like like this let's go three here and here and alt e extrude along normals so we can do down or up and let's just go up like this we'll go up something like that and uh you can see what's going on take two grab this move it down hold the control key down I'll snap right here because I've got control will automatically turn the snapping on and I have my default set up to snap to vertices so that works nicely I'll go over here and let's grab a two and control B and let's do this and then we're gonna move this at least I don't know what do we want to do at eight I said six seven eight I always I have a minimum of eight or one eight or more or one so I'm just gonna do this like this and I'll go Two, select this. See, just we'll just grab all these like this, and then a whole you know the C uh, selects everything, and then if you hold the middle mouse button, it'll deselect everything. So that's it. You know, right click, exits out of that. Control B. We'll kind of jack that up a little bit like that, so we'll get that little surface like this. Okay, now let's put a bevel. Uh, on top of here. So the way I'm gonna do that is first I'm gonna go top view here. I'm gonna go into this. I'm gonna just I'm gonna line these up because our bevel will work better if these are lined up. Let's make sure yeah that looks good. Actually hit the three button so I'm selecting faces then hit the C and we'll just drag all those faces right click to deselect and then X and say limited dissolve and now we have that. Just grab that and let's Limit is all that, so we have that there. So now when I hit here and I say Control B, uh, I've got a bevel, and let's do the bevel. We can see what the bevel is. Uh, you know, it's going to be 0.03, so so 0.02, something like that. Okay, and that looks about right. And let's do the same over here. Control B or C to select all these middle to get rid of those. And with that bevel, we'll say Control B or Control B and 0.02, and now we have those set the way they need to be, and that looks good. And let's go ahead and grab this and this Control B eight seven eight something like. Let's make that like that, and. 
and we can probably let's see if we can do this we're gonna grab a two grab this and hit the C button and we'll go all the way down there to that and grab that one too and we'll let's get rid of these we don't want those and we don't want these and we don't want those and what happens if I hit control B on this And just put a little bevel on there, maybe something like that. And that's a point, point oh 0.01. Let's do a point oh 0.01 on that. And we'll do the same over here so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, okay. Now we're good. So we've got kind of an interesting little model here this face here three it's x that uh face face and uh this is looking okay now i'm going to go into my kid ops now that i've got kind of like a basic thing that i want to work with and i'm going to grab some cutters out of here i'll just go to uh oh i've got a lot of different ones you can use whatever ones that came with your kid ops uh, i'm going to go into here and grab like uh you know something that Maybe this guy and uh, stick him on here like this, you know, maybe like that, move him up a little bit and I'll go over here. Let's grab uh, something else that we have here. Let's grab, you know what, let's just go to, let's go grab something out of, uh, the one that ships with Kid Ops Pro, the uh, simple, let's see what we have in here. We have something like this, which is kind of cool. Uh, maybe something a little longer, yeah. Add insert, stick that in here. Alt, turn. And let's move it. Now, now you may look at this and say, well, what's going on here? I don't know what's going on. Why is this thing all looking weird? Well, that's because we need to shade smooth this. And then we need to go over here and we need to go into normals and we need to auto smooth it and then things will start to look much better. So I'll take this, you know, uh, this one, actually, I'm going to move this one uh, to the center here. I want it to be all the way across here, the center, and maybe we'll move it this way. Maybe we'll spread it out. Now it's not working right now and I'll tell you why in a second, but uh, while we're here, let's just go ahead and finish this up. And let's grab uh, another kind of a something. Let's grab one of these little, these little guys right here. I'm gonna grab this and add an insert. Let's put him in. Let's put him over here like so. Let's stick him, actually let's stick him, yeah, let's stick him right about here and let's shrink him this way. And make him a little heavier. Okay, there, there. So let's just call this, you know, our insert. Actually, I'll put it one more, one more little thing in here. Let's let's do a little uh, cutter right inside here. Okay. So now, now you can see what we have. So what I'm going to do now is go in here. I'm going to take this mirror. And I'm going to drag it all to the bottom, and I'm going to put viewport viz on for everything off for everything and then on for everything and you can see how that does a pretty good job now i can start to look at this see some sm smoothing problem this is going to be a smoothing problem i'm just going to whoops undo i'm going to scale this so that i don't have a what watch over here on the left you'll see that okay when i start scaling it it's going to kick out because of the way we have those degrees set next thing i want to do is i want to take these cutters which did not get used so what i'm going to do is actually first let's just viewport viz turn everything off and let's go to the top view and i just want to get a little region around here that i can use to create my final cutter so i'll hit the k for knife or, or tab it hit k for knife a and i'm just going to you know i'll kind of come kind of close to here i'll go here a over to about here and then down and then hit return. So that's that's going to be our area, and uh, and we'll put viewport viz. So we'll leave all those on. This last one, 
this last one right here this one okay so I'll take that and drag it after here and you see it cuts in nicely but it's not part of this over here so what I can do is a couple things I can go into this and just mirror it but I'll, it might just be easier for me just to say go into, into here I'm gonna go ahead and save what I'm doing and let's convert to mesh and then remove wireframe and then go back into our edit and we're going to do X auto mirror, Y auto mirror, and viewport viz, turn these off. And you see, this is what we have. And we're just going to turn this one off and go Y. And now we see that this is already over on the other side. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this thing, how this thing looks. So I think it looks pretty good. I think that's a, kind of an interesting looking, you know, uh, detail. So. The next thing I want to do is I want to make basically turn this into a cutter. So let's do that by just hitting apply all on this. Let's tab into here and let's go to one. And I'm just going to grab all these on the outside. You know, I can hit the C button and just, I just want all of these vertices. And once I've done that, I hit X and just delete the vertices. And then I can go here and hit L and X, delete those vertices. So now I've got just this right here. And I say A2. So I've got the, the edge and I go to select, select loops, select boundary loop. And then I'll say E and then Z, move it, move it completely up. And now let's do a Q and let's look at the uh, or our tab. Let's go into here and look and see which way the faces are facing. I've got this set up as a shortcut key, but you can see. So that's so if we're going to make this a cutter, this needs to be a positive thing. So if I hit uh, tab and hit A, F, and then then just go mesh and say uh, normals flip. So we just flip them. And now we've got that correct so that looks pretty good but we need to get we need to get our our, our origin set so let's go here i'm gonna go to options and i'll say origins and i'm gonna move this origin up and i want it to be i want it to i don't want to see that i, I want to be just under just under this line so i'll put it right about there that way if it's right on that line i'm going to get some z fighting with just this plane here and uh, but if it's not, I'll be uh, it, it'll cut this perfectly on, on it for us. So I'll just move it just under that line like that. And then I'll go back under here and turn that off. And then let's go back into here. And then uh, I think it looks pretty good. It looks like what we want. Got a little blip it there or something. Oh, that's part of that that uh, insert we put in there. So let's go in and find a folder we want to put it in at test. And you remember I had talked previously about this that comes with KitOps Free and KitOps Pro. And this is this KitOps Toggle VP display. And it just tells you how to toggle the most. It's Control-Alt-Shift-Z. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say Control-Alt-Shift-Z once, twice. So that just keeps going back and forth that way. So I'm going to do it once. So I just get to this wireframe. Now this is telling KitOps that that's going to be a cutter. So I'll right click. So I'm going to make this name, name it uh, CW. Uh, cutter 01. Let's try that. Okay, and then we right click on it and we're going to go kit ops, create insert, use the object origin. And there's our cutter right there. And let's go file new general, don't save. And we'll come in here and uh, we've got this. Let's grab a this uh, steel mat and add that material to it and I'm gonna go grab that cutter which is under test let's see it's this one right here and I'm gonna add that insert here hit F for face maybe scale it up a little bit yeah let's leave it like that Q and turn off my face orientation and with this like this I can also take control shift Z get it to bounty box so I can see it a little better you can see that's what our cutter looks like now there are some things like uh you know there's 
these 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 are real sharp cuts if I want to add an, a last bevel onto that I can just come in here select this and say add bevel and we'll say at that point one let's make it <clears throat> eight there let's make it one one one's fine and now when we look at it we're seeing that we have just a little bevel on, along there uh, and we're getting some bevels along in, in here too and that works pretty good <clears throat> but let's go ahead now and take this I'm gonna scale it up a little bit so that's it's actually really close now this is still doing a nice job of getting that bevel uh, for us well let's go ahead and add another insert on top of this let's put this uh, let's put this one up in here somewhere let's just kind of make it just like that and, uh, and Oh, that's why we need to put this one above that now. Okay, now we put this above that and we've moved them around and mirrored it. Now we can see that we don't have a bevel across here at all. And that's because we just, you know, we just have, there just isn't enough clearance. And what I can do at this point is I can say with type percent. And by giving it a percent, let's give it like 1% we're going to get bevels in areas where it can and it will not bevel areas where it cannot so like in this area right here this q wireframe you can see that we've got a little bit of a bevel here and here but you can't get one across there so so that's kind of a neat trick right here now of course when you do that you're going to get some of this artifacting so you just need to add a weighted normal to it or if it's bevels your last one just go into shading and say hard normals especially if you have just a one you just say hard normals and it'll all come out right for you. But look, it gives you those nice little bevels down in here too, and all of that, you know, and you can kind of see how that, how that works, how that, uh, you know, that design works. You know, uh, you know, you can kind of play with some of these and see what happens when you start, you know, moving around, you're starting to get some interesting shapes, as you can tell. And that's all from that one cutter we just created. So hopefully this, <laughs> this is kind of a, a quick uh, demo, but uh, kind of things to be aware of or to think about is that one, that mirror trick is a real neat trick. Two is using, um, you know, make sure you use this toggle BP display to set it up as a cutter. So that works well. Uh, three, use on bevels, you know, make sure on bevels you're using percent instead of the, the default offset. So, you know, if you leave an offset, you know, look, see down that corner, we don't have any bevels in here, but if we go under per percent, bingo, we've got something. So anyway, I uh, hope you like that and hope that works for you. And uh, we'll see you online.